So over here, you can see that I have a logo in the character animator scene. And what we can do right here is add in keyframe animations to add in subtle movements. So to do that, I'm going to go around over here. And then over here on the transform, you have the anchor points, you have the position right over here, you have the scale and everything. And all of them can be animated by using keyframes. So let us just exactly do that. So I can go over here and then change the position right over here. So I'm just going to change out the position of uh, this object right here. And what I can do is I can add in keyframe frame by pressing on these two buttons right here. So what happens when I add in a keyframe is that on zero, where my cursor is right now, that is where this data has been entered as the key state. That is position X, that is minus three, five, one, and position Y minus two, four, eight is the fixed position for uh, zero seconds. If I were to go over here onto five second now and then change this out, you can see that the keyframe is still on. So you can see that the keyframe has been added right here. I can change around the position right here, just like this. So now what happens um, is on the five second mark, the position of X and Y is this. So this is the zero second mark and this is the five second mark. So now as I play this around, what happens is that the in between frames is created by character animator to simulate an animation just like this, as you can see, I can move around the keyframe. So this is, uh, these keyframes right here are the position X and Y, as you can see, and I can move these around. I can move these out over here in the beginning, just like that. And it just, speeds up just like that. So I can go over here, change out different things. I can even add in keyframe to animation, uh, like scale animations right here. So I can increase this out. And what happens is that there's a scale animation right here. Similarly, I can add in a keyframe to rotation right over here and then change this out. You can see that the rotation changes out just like this. So you can add in keyframes to uh, all of these items just like this. And similarly, you can add in keyframes to all of these items, like even physics, as you can see right here. So you can change out the value as it progresses. So not all of them has it, but you can see that you can add in keyframe to all of the values right here in character animator. So you can change the settings as the time progresses, just like this, and can create animations just like that. So now let me go over here on to the 2D character animator scene right here and then add in some animations to the foreground and background so it looks a bit more interesting. So over here in the foreground, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, going to go to transform right here and then I'm going to do a subtle, let's say for example, a bit of scale right here. So I'm just going to go around. I'm going to do animation for about 15 seconds right here, just like this. So I'm going to scale this out just like that, as you can see. So what happens is that there's a bit of a scale going on right over here. I want to go around over here onto background over here and scale that out as well. So let me just scale the background out as well, just like this. And I'm just going to push this out right here. So you can see that the uh, foreground and the background, they move at a different rate, just like this. And what I'm going to do further is scale out the, uh, and, um, the character as well. So I'm just going to go around onto character. Let me add in a keyframe over here as well and scale the character just like this over here. Just, uh, just like that. So you can see that the character and everything else moves. So just like that, I have an animation right over here. I can adjust the keyframes just like that. And you can already see that the scene looks much more dynamic over here. So uh, if you have more layers, what happens is that you can just control out more and add in more transformation options right there as well. So what I'm going to do further is that I'm going to go around with the background. So I'm going to go around with position as well. So let's say, for example, this is the position right here. I'm going to change around the position right here, uh, not of the character, but I'm going to change the position of the background right here. So I'm just going to go back, go on to background. I'm going to go to position Y just like this. I'm going to go on to the front just like that and increase this out. So the background, as you can see, suddenly moves below as if the camera is panning, just like that over there. You can go on to foreground as well and do the same. So in this case, I'm going to go on to position X over here, go forward. So I'm just going to add in keyframe there, go forward on to position X. So let me just move this on just like that. And this is how it looks, as you can see right here. So I can go 
and expand this out to see the keyframes as you can see for each of the layers there as well. So this works similar to how After Effects works out as well. So if I were to play this out, you can see that it slowly zooms in right there. So this is how you can add in depth and feel for the animation and make it much more interesting to look at. And that is how you can work around with keyframe animation inside of Character Animator. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.